Hi there, my name is Jason. I'm uh, with the Canadian Outdoors Enthusiasts. Uh, I've got this little 22 uh, received from my father. Uh, he had it about for 50 years locked up in a trunk. Uh, and uh, it's not fireable. It's uh, pretty much in pieces. Um, it's uh, on the barrel we were looking and uh, serial numbers are a little bit a little bit worn down most of the numbers are worn down um, it does say 22 long rifle July 2nd 07 14 and a half inch barrel on it and uh, yeah so hopefully I can bring it to a gunsmith and get it fixed what make is it Jay? um what was it I was barely able to see it it does say um, Stevens Stevens Arm Company um yeah it's pretty hard to see USA uh, little scouts little scouts 22 long rifle so it's a, it's a junior gun it's a junior gun it's a little gun for a little person I guess and uh, hopefully hopefully we'll get it fixed the firing pin is a little bit it was modified by somebody which wasn't the right pin so Hopefully, they'll be able to find the gunsmith. They'll be able to so fix that. Turn on the action and do that again. Show the viewers what it's all about because I've never seen so, that before. I've I've never seen one like this before, but it's this action goes down. Now, as you can see, the barrel would be up on. Whoop, yeah, something like this right here, and as the action lifts up you gotta have it up like this now the firing pins right here but it's not the right one and then you would end up cocking it back and then firing and then the pin would hit okay. the cartridge and then cock it back lift it and then the cartridge would come out of the barrel now there's a screw missing here which would be going into the barrel here and I assume there would be another piece of wood at one point at one time that would go right here somewhere now that part is missing which I don't really care about right now I just want to see if we can put it back together somehow and get the right pin in there and Hopefully fire rate it and as soon as possible, I guess. You want to turn that barrel around and show the viewers uh, the actual... Uh, uh, the inside? Not the inside, but the actual uh, release of the, the... There it is. The, oh, the, okay. Uh, the ejector. Yeah, the ejector. It is It is worn down. It's It's been used quite enough. And as you can see, it is... It is a little bit damaged there. Hopefully, maybe the gunsmith can file it back down and put it back at least in its original state, I believe. So, hopefully, hopefully, I'll put it back. And again, I hope it's not a prohibited gun since it's a 14 and a half. It's a 22. I think you'll be all right. But then again, our Canadian gun laws are screwy. So, we'll look into it and let you guys know. All right, that's it for now, I guess. Hey guys, Phil from the Canadian Outdoors Enthusiast Channel. You just saw previously uh, my brother-in-law telling you about an old gun that uh, his father had in the, in the basement for 50 odd years. It's a uh, Stephen Arms Little Scout 22. Um, if any of you out there have any more information on this, we'd just like to get a bit of a history on this. Please write uh, your comments below if you guys know anything about it. 
Thank you, and again, thanks for watching.